when you look at this operatory, yesterday, before we left, we put the chair up, okay? This has already been cleaned. This has already been changed. We're going to put the shields. And we're going to put a basic, okay? But we should at least set it up like this, okay? So in case we have an extraction patient, okay, we have an extraction patient the following day, I have already set it up, okay? In every procedure, you need to have the consent form, okay? Together with the ROSIP, you could just hang it over here. Now, prioritization, the doctor would always send the patient first, okay? So I have prepared the gel in here, the anesthetic agents, two needles, yellow and short, and the short one, which is blue, and the Q-tips for the numbing gel, okay? Why? The reason why I have prepared two different kinds of anesthetics, this is the septo, which has the 4% epinephrine, and this is the Lido, which is the 2% epinephrine only, okay? So, if the tooth is on the upper, anyone knows, we use the septo or the articane with the blue needle, okay? But, when the doctor extracts or does work on the lower posterior, they do the nerve blocking um, injection, they use the 2% epinephrine with the yellow needle, anything in the lower. But on the front teeth, they use the septo or the articane. Okay, now we also have the zero epinephrine, 0% 0 epinephrine, which is the mepevigane, right? If we have patients suffering for, from cardiovascular diseases, they have heart disease, they cannot tolerate epinephrine because it will, you know, um, they, it gives palpitation into them, then the doctor would want to use the mepevigane, okay? Now, extraction. This is set up for an extraction. We already have this. Anyone? This is packed with the periosteal elevator, the curette, and the bone file. Okay? In every extraction, doctors would always start with the periosteal elevator. This one. Okay? It has a sharp and blunt at one side. The curette that can be used once the tooth has already been taken out. They wanted to check more if everything is okay. And then the bone file is to, you know, soften any sharp, sharp objects. Polish sharp, uh, sharp, not sharp objects, sharp bones. Okay, bones. Right. The doctor would start on to the narrowest elevator, straight elevator, going to the medium size elevator and the widest elevator, straight elevator. This is to flop the gum, okay? To lever up the tooth and flop the gum, all right? Now, if the doctor would want to extract an upper tooth, all right, I have prepared the upper tooth over here. Wait, here, okay. This is for the anterior, this is for the premolar, and this is for the molar, upper. The big, the big, this is towards upward, okay? For the lower, we have the anterior, all right, this is like perpendicular. If you see this instrument, it's lower. And then a cow horn. A lower forcep would always have like that undulation is towards down, okay? And this is for smaller too, okay? In case the tooth has been broken down while the doctor is taking out, we have the root tip elevator. Okay, root tip elevator, we have the crier. You also have to have the suture available at the side, okay, in case the doctor would want to suture it up. The suture, okay, the suture holder, and the scissor. And also, before the extraction, the doctor should know the blood pressure of a patient, okay? Mm -hmm. All right.